What is up everyone and welcome back to more Naruto Shippuden. I'm here today with episode 174. I think this is potentially one of the last episodes that we're probably gonna see pain. This arc, it's been going on for what, a lifetime? I mean, since what, 120 something? And now we're here, 174. And I feel like I have learned so much about pain it's really made me think outside of the box as well. It's made me try and see things more from his perspective, his life. And while I'm always going to be upset about losing my favorite characters, I can't deny how I feel about knowing that someone from such a young age just was dealt this hand in life, but also knowing that all they wanted was to make a change and in a way, I guess they're gonna fail because Naruto's not gonna let them just walk on out of here, you know? So what exactly have they accomplished come the end? And I guess that's kind of something that I'm excited to find out. Was it worth it, you know? Or is it just gonna be another tragic story of someone who is just given a bad hand in life? Don't forget if you want to watch these before everybody else, you can head on over to the VIP over here and please feel free to hit me up over on my social media. Okay, let's do this. Since that day, countless other comrades have fought and died in battle. So many others, one by one. They kept dying. Citizens of your land of fire, they paid a small commission to the Hidden Leaf, adding to their war fund. And the citizens of the Land of Fire, knowing full well the truth, still falsely proclaim peace. What you all like to call peace is only won through violence against us. In order for some to live peacefully, others must die in war. But you think having all the Jin Cherokee so that we all fear that was better? I've told you my story just as you asked. Now let's hear your response. Oh, Naruto! I don't even know what I would say. <sighs> it's so true. It's like anytime there's a war in real life, there's always casualties and there's always civilian casualties for the greater good. But yet in the same breath, every single life is precious. Like you are loved by someone you know, somewhere, your mom, your dad, your brother, whoever, somebody loves you. So why do you have to be a sacrifice so that someone else can live in peace? God, and it, it's such a tricky one as well, because how do you fix that? You know, like, how can you? I genuinely believe that it's not even something in real life that anyone could have an answer for. Gosh, I just, I don't know what Naruto's gonna say. I've told you my story just as you asked. Now let's hear your response. I think the same way you do. I see. But even if I understand you now, that doesn't change how I feel. But Pervy Sage believed in me and wanted me to continue his quest. And for those reasons, I choose to believe in him and to follow what he taught me. So that's it. That's my answer. But what, what are you going to do then? After everything that's happened, you still believe in Jiraiya Sensei's teachings? Very well then. You've given your answer. And you expect us to wait till you somehow magically transform this world to a peaceful place. Well, what are you going to do? You're going to try and take the Jinchuriki out of him? I'm gonna break that curse one day. If there's truly such a thing as peace in this world, then somehow I'll find it. I'll never stop looking. <laughs> I was gonna say, that's the same words. The very first novel that Pervy Sage ever wrote. He was seriously trying to change the world with his message. And in the back of it, he wrote about a student who helped provide him with inspiration. But... You don't need to fight anymore, just let it go. The thing is, now he's gonna have even more regrets about taking down Jiraiya, that's what I think. 
But I've come down with a bad case of writer's block. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I figured I'd take a little break and get a bite to eat. I've been thinking about all the hatred in the world. Do you remember when we talked about it? Sure I do. And what ideas have you come up with so far? Real peace. I still haven't figured out how to attain that yet. I vow that I'm going to break that curse one day. If there's truly such a thing as peace in this world, then somehow I'll find it. That is an excellent thought. You may very well be right. You inspired Jiraiya. Oh, and that's what he put in his book. Now I can return home without any worries. <sighs> the three of you are all on your own from here on out. These past three years, you've done a great job. Mm. Hey, don't cry, Yahiko, or people will call you a coward. Mm. Conan, you're gonna grow up to be a real beauty. I know it. I hope we meet again someday. Oh, I'm gonna end up being a blubbering mess in a minute. How could you take out Jiraiya? Thank you. How could you? I just want to hear him say that he's sorry. You know, I want to hear him regret on, it. Now. Stop crying, Yahiko. I'm sure we'll see him again someday. Did he leave his book behind? <gasps> I love this scene. Down. Like, we have seen this scene so many times. But it's always a different character reading it, you know? Just give up now. <laughs> you give up. I'm trying to make me, make give, me give up. up. <laughs> That's what Naruto said. Even if you do take me down. Another assassin will attack the village. <laughs> as long as we're cursed to live in this world of Shinobi, then there cannot be any peace ever. My name is. Perhaps, Nagato. You're actually the reincarnation of the Sage of the Six Paths. I have the feeling that your eyes may realize the hopes of that Sage. Another Sage once gave me this prophecy. He declared that one of my students would bring about a great change to the world of the Shinobi. And also, I believe in you, Nagato. I mean, maybe it still is him. He's the one telling Naruto. And then Naruto can go off and make a change. You are the savior of this world. I know you can do it. More important is the power to believe that it will happen. So do you believe in Naruto now? Instead of trying to rule the world through pain, I wish you'd move past it and used your power to create peace in a positive way. The name of the hero in this novel is Naruto. His name is... His name's Naruto! <laughs> but now what? Like, what's gonna happen to Pain? Like... <sighs> my name is a precious heirloom that has been handed down to me by my master. There's no way that I'm just gonna give up and dishonor my master's gift. And I will bring peace to the hidden rain. I will! I'm asking you to believe in me. Oh. Why should I? How can you stand there and tell me that you will never change your mind? Do you really think you will never stray from that ideal, no matter how much pain befalls you? You think you will always believe in yourself? Can you guarantee it? After everything he has been through? Yes, he can! He's lost everything! He's had one of the hardest upbringings. I'm not saying pain hasn't, but... Naruto of all people has his entire village shunning him from what five six I mean god everything he has gone through and he is still here you know and he's still got a lovely personality and after everything Sasuke's done he still wants to bring Sasuke back safely what is Sasuke gonna do when he realizes that the Leaf Village is gone? <laughs> There's still pain buried deep down inside of me. 
and there's no telling what kind of pain I may face down the road. But if I stop believing just because things get difficult, if the hero in this book were to change who he is, then it would become a whole different story. I can't write books like our master did. And so, any sequel has to come from the life I live. That's why no matter how much pain my own path brings, I'll keep walking. Because that's who Naruto is! We ought to be able to understand each other. When I said that to you earlier, I meant it as a joke. But now? You really are a curious fellow. You remind me of myself when I was much younger. Nagato. I wasn't able to continue believing in Jiraiya's ideas. Nor could I keep believing in myself. Oh! I think I shall believe in you after all. Oh my gosh! Naruto Uzumaki. I'll use Ghetto Art of Rene Rebirth. Nagato, you can't! No, Conan. It's all right. For what does it do? What? Those who possess the Rinnegan can perform all of the jutsu the Six Pains used and are said to exist outside the realm of life and death. Okay. Nagato's what? visual prowess itself is the jutsu that presides over life and death. Okay, but what what does this mean? What is what's gonna happen? He's gonna sacrifice himself. To what? Bring all the people back? I don't understand. Oh my god! But only the people in the village, right? So not Jiraiya? Is that what's happening? It's as my vision foretold. Although I never thought two of Jiraiya's students would be the children of prophecy. And that the both of them would become the ones to bring about great changes to the ninja world. Who would have thought that that book would really become the key to changing the world? I just love knowing that it wasn't all for nothing. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yikes. I'm mentally exhausted. <laughs> oh, so glad I didn't put eyeliner on today. Oh my god. He had the power to make right everything. We, like, it makes you wonder, like, was that his um, idea the entire time? Where it was like, he was just going so far until he found the right person, you know? To actually bring peace, peace, <laughs> we'll go with that, to the land. My god. I wonder, does this mean that he's literally bringing back all the people that he got rid of from the Leaf Village? Because there's a certain someone. I refuse to get my hopes up. As I say, I'll believe that when I see it. But maybe, you know, maybe there's a chance. Oh my gosh, I have to go and watch the next episode. I have to. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.